stock crypto credit moves. Good morning, good morning, YouTube. We're back for another video. Uh, so today is bonus Friday. So I'm going to throw out two additional nuggets. Uh, not necessarily anything new, but I like to throw extra opportunities uh, on this channel uh, outside of what I normally talk about. Uh, just to get um, this channel um, more diversity and just give people the additional ideas. So uh, I got a booking yesterday from VRBO, uh, which is a website where you can rent out a property. Uh, it's the cousin of Airbnb. So I got an instant booking yesterday from Mark. Uh, I think he's like a snowbird. He's just coming down for a while, but he's actually gonna stay for 89 days uh, in this in this in this property that I'm managing. So he comes down on January 1st, and he leaves on March 31st. This is an Airbnb v VRBO, same thing. He comes for 89 nights. He gets his discount. Total booking amount, 6000 Total travel payment, 6900 Booking amount, 6000 And the payout is 5715.07. So VRBO recently uh, added an option where you can get a portion of these funds up front. So let's go to that website. The RBO. Let's see here. This is just showing an estimated payout here. And <laughs> He's coming down. He's a snowbird. And then here's their, their contact information. So guys, if you have like an extra, um, if you have an extra room uh, or just a good idea if you wanted to get into real estate, because I have a, a long history with real estate, renting out properties. Um, and I'm often asked which one is better, renting out to a family um and collecting the rent or renting out to multiple tenants. Uh they both have positive and negatives. Uh the positive to renting out to a family um normally you, you should have more uh stability and you should have more uh less uh maintenance requests. Uh, but the income on that side is not as great. So, for an example, for this property, if I rent it out to a family, I could collect maybe like fifteen to sixteen hundred dollars a month, which is not bad. It's not a bad income. Uh, but I'm going to have more maintenance requests. Uh, the income is not going to be as high. So, anything that breaks a lot of times when you're only collecting fifteen hundred dollars a month you're going to be coming out of your pocket. Um, so that is the analysis on the side of just renting out a house to a family. Now, on the other side, as you can see, the payouts are much bigger because just on this, just on this one client, that's $5,600. Uh, but the downside to this, normally you don't get tenants that come and stay that long. So you have more of a management uh, VRBO and Airbnb is a management intensive business. So you need to have a cleaning lady available. Um, you have to make sure you keep the, uh, the lights are going to be on. You're going to be responsible for all the upkeep of the property, making it clean. Uh, you're going to have multiple tenants. One way you can kind of cut down on the management part, you can actually require, um, a visitor stay four days. So that actually cuts down 
on um, the management piece. But it's still, it's still, it's very management intensive. Uh, people are looking at your place like it's a hotel, like they're expecting greatness. So, and then they have VRBO, Airbnb uh, booking actually have an option where you can list uh, your individual properties for rent. So it's very, this is a very competitive business. I think everyone just thinks that you just throw the property on VRBO or Airbnb and start earning. It's a lot more to it than that. You need to be available uh, for questions. You need to have a, um, a cleaning lady, a management uh, company or people that are on your team that can keep the prices of repairs down. So when you look at VRBO or Airbnb, it's a business. Like you have to go into it as a business. It's not a side hustle, it's a business. If you don't look at it as a business, uh, you're not gonna be successful because they're gonna, they're gonna rate you uh, according to how clean the place is, how accessible you are. Uh, so it's a business, it's not a hustle. I know some people like to look at it that way. But also too, you can start doing, uh, you can start your hotel business out of your house. I know a lot of people are kind of, you know, feel a certain type of way about uh, visitors coming to their home, but if you have an extra room and you don't mind having company, you can start this business out renting out a room for $50, $60 a night uh, if you wanted to. I mean, it's a little challenging if you're, you're maybe single or you have young kids, but all I'm saying is if you have a house that's sitting vacant and you're not using it, uh, why not start an Airbnb a VRBO business where you can start earning income? So even if you rented a place out for $40 or $50 a night and you, let's say if it's booked 60% of the month, so 24 days, excuse me, 30 days, Let's say if it rented 18 days and you collected $50 a month, that's 900 bucks. All right. So let's say, let's say if after all your expenses, uh, you're keeping $500 a month, that's $500 that can go towards your mortgage. That's $500 that can go towards your car. And this is how you actually start to work your way out of needing a job is by just creating uh, income hacks on things that you own. So I wanted to throw that opportunity out. Also, I want to throw out Turo, which is a car business. So you pretty much would be starting a limousine business. So that's it for uh, VRBO. So I'm going to close this out. I'll, I'll leave this in the description. You pretty much started a vacation home business. All right, so let's go to Turo. If you have a spare car, you can become a, a host with Turo. And Turo is pretty much a limousine business. You you have a car, um, you can host. It's similar. It's the same process as uh, VRBO. And you would actually get paid um, a lot of times people are concerned about the insurance piece. Well, with eToro, they actually cover the insurance piece for you, but they take 40% of the profits. So I've done this and made money, not doing it currently. I plan on getting back into it again, but this is something that you may be able to make six, seven, eight hundred dollars a month. Um, by renting a car that's sitting in your garage and you're not using and you don't mind a stranger using it. Um, so that's the thing with, with this. You can't get attached uh, to things that are costing you a lot of money. I know a lot of people, they don't want to share their home or they don't want to pay let someone else drive their car, but those two items are liabilities and that's what's keeping you having to work so hard. But I just like to throw out ideas um, Turo is actually a good opportunity. 
I'll leave that in the description as well. But you definitely can create a business model just out of these two without getting involved in stocks, crypto, credit, or any of that. You can create a, a business and sustain your life off of Turo, Airbnb, and VRBO. Uh, as these examples I've just shown with VRBO, you see the payouts that come. Uh, it's not always like that, but you do get sometimes where someone just wants to come down and they stay for a while and you're, you're rewarded. But the place has to be clean. Same thing with the car. You get reviews on your car. So this is just additional income streams uh, outside of what I normally talk about. If you like this comment, Excuse me. If you like this video, just let me know. I'll keep sharing other ideas. Uh, even if I'm not directly involved in them, I'll share them. But I do have experience uh, in these two areas. Like, share, subscribe. Let's keep them going. Keep these subscribers coming in. I'm going to continue to, to put the information out. I'm not your financial advisor, but I know how to manage my finances. And until next time... Signing off.